Hi there. Now we're going to do an introduction to our third review. First paragraph. Our next review begins today. We will review two recent lessons every day for 10 consecutive days of practicing. We will observe a special format for these practice periods that you are urged to follow just as closely as you can. Paragraph two, we understand, of course, that it may be impossible for you to undertake what is suggested here as optimal each day and every hour of the day. Learning will not be hampered when you miss a practice period because it is impossible at the appointed time. Nor is it necessary that you make excessive efforts to be sure that you catch up in terms of numbers. Rituals are not our aim and would defeat our goal. Jesus has been very generous with us now. He, throughout the whole course, he wants us to hear the truth. The reason for these practice periods is so that we can ingrain them inside of us, so we can learn to trust them, so that we believe them, so that we're really truly practicing them, practice them in their top of mind. But it is not meant to be a punishment if you don't do it. It is not meant to add guilt, to make you feel shame, to make you feel um, that you have messed up, that you can't achieve it. It is not meant to do that. And I believe that part of these reviews are to just take what has already been learned and give us a little bit more time to assimilate it. Paragraph three, but learning will be hampered when you skip a practice period because you are unwilling to devote the time to it that you are asked to give. It's one thing that life gets busy. It's another one that you choose not to do this by busying yourself with something else. Do not deceive yourself in this. Very clear. Do not deceive in yourself in this if, you, if there's a voice inside of you that is unwilling to do the work. Unwillingness can be most carefully concealed behind a cloak of situations you cannot control. Learn to distinguish situations that are poorly suited to your practicing from those that you establish to uphold a camouflage for your unwillingness. So I don't have time tonight because I'm too tired, I'm sleepy, I'm whatever. Well, check in. If you really are tired, go to bed. But if you say you're tired and you cannot do the lessons and you go watch TV, or you sit up and you know have another cocktail or decide to go out and meet some friends, just know that you are deceiving yourself. You're camouflaging this, this unwillingness that is going to be very challenging for you to really get what the course is trying to offer you. And it's only trying to offer you your freedom. That's it. The course is only interested in you having a happy life because that is the purpose that God has given each and every one of us. And if we're not happy, and we, ha we are aware that there is a path, then it is our unwillingness to sustain that happiness because we're choosing to listen to the voice that is distracting us from doing the work. Paragraph four, those practice periods that, have, that you have lost because you did not want to do them, for whatever reason, should be done as soon as you have changed your mind about your goal. And we have only one goal. Uh, here is to know the truth. If if there is a goal other than knowing the truth, then your your ego is is uh, trying to camouflage what it might appear to be a spiritual practice um, because you're using beliefs that are allowing you to dissuade yourself from staying the course to the goal that your heart has. You are unwilling to cooperate in practicing salvation only if it interferes with goals you hold more dear. So this is a doozy. What other goal can you hold more dear than freedom, than salvation, than happiness, than your connection with your true self? Because once you connect with God, the outer world becomes a joyful experience. It has no power over you. You become free to be in the world, but not of it. So what could be a better goal than that? So do check in on, on what's going on in your mind that prevents you from doing the lessons. When you withdraw the value given them, allow your practice periods to be replacements for your litanies to them. Now, this is when you have seen, when you remove value to external things that are distractions from doing the work. They gave you nothing. 
those things out there gave you nothing. This is in paragraph four, sentence number four. The world is never going to give you anything that is sustainable. That's why we keep chasing things outside of ourselves. But if you want to go to the place where you will find what is sustainable, you have to come inside. And the Course in Miracles is a course in training your mind so that you can find that connection and hold it. Keep it sustainable because it's your birthright. Sentence number five, paragraph four. But your practicing can offer everything to you. And so accept their offering and be at peace. Paragraph five. The format you should use for these reviews is this. The v devote five minutes twice a day or longer if you would prefer it. Totally a choice, but at least two times a day, five minutes. Everybody has five minutes two times a day. To consider the thoughts that are assigned, read over the ideas and comments that are written down for each day's exercise and then begin to think about them while letting your mind relate um, relate them to your needs, making them practical, your seeming problems, and all of your concerns. This course is, is concerned with practicality, applicability, sustainability. So that's why these lessons, it takes us a year to go through them. In a year, for me, a year wasn't enough. I am on my 60 year of doing these lessons daily um, because I get something else out of each one every single time. And I, I can imagine that I will keep doing this forever because I've not found anything in all of my studies that is as powerful as the Course in Miracles to get our mind straight so that we can align with our purpose. Um, paragraph six, place the ideas within your mind. These are the review uh, ideas and let it use them. Let your mind use them as it chooses. Give it faith that it will use them wisely being placed in its decisions by the one who gave the thoughts to you. Okay, give it faith that it will be used wisely being helped in its decisions by the one who gave the thoughts to you. So trust that the Holy Spirit inside of you is going to take these thoughts that God is giving us through Jesus as truth. What can you trust but what is in your mind? We only believe thoughts in our head. That's it. That's it, period. Have faith in these reviews. The means the Holy Spirit uses will not fail. The wisdom of your mind will come to your assistance. You see, there's a voice already in you that God placed in us from the very get-go. Call it your soul, your spirit, the Holy Spirit. And it is our direct connection to God. It is always there. So these lessons are trying to activate these lessons have a frequency. Every one of these lessons is vibrating at a high frequency. And the intention of these lessons is to resonate with the truth that is inside of us, to begin to awaken, to begin the process of activating the truth that is already in us. So it's like we're being attuned through these lessons so that what is on the inside and what we're hearing begin to become a match. And that's how it wakes up and activates inside of us. So have faith in these reviews. The means the Holy Spirit uses will not fail. The wisdom of your mind will come to your assistance. A truth that is in us is coming to our assistance. It has to. Give direction at the outset, then lean back in quiet faith. Trust, trust that this is going to happen. And let the mind employ the thoughts you gave as they were given you for it to use. Paragraph seven, you have been given them in perfect trust, in perfect confidence that you would use them well, in perfect faith that you would see their message and use them for yourself. Use them to your mind in that same, I'm sorry, offer them to your mind in that same trust and confidence and faith. It will not fail. It is the Holy Spirit chosen means for your salvation. Since it has his trust, his means must surely merit yours as well. God, Holy Spirit, Jesus, all of them are in alignment that this stuff works. Now we have to trust that it will. And you will only know that they will when you practice them so you can feel the efficacy of them. You can feel the resonance. You can feel how, yeah, when you practice that, when you actually use that in a specific situation out in the world, it made a difference. Paragraph eight, we emphasize the benefit to you if you devote the first five minutes of the day to your reviews and also give the last five minutes of your waking day to them. 
If this cannot be done, at least try to divide them so you undertake one in the morning and the other in the hour just before you go to bed. The exercises to be done throughout the day are equally important and perhaps of even greater value because you're going to be fully awake and during actual experiences. And then go on your way to other things without applying what you learned to them. So let me read that again. Uh, sentence number two, paragraph nine. You have been inclined to practice only at appointed times. So we, we've been wanting to do this our, our way. And then you go on your way to other things without applying what you learned to them. As a result, you have gained little reinforcement and have not given your learning a fair chance to prove how great are its potential gifts to you. Here is another chance to use it well. So the reviews are short, they're quick, they're only five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, and it's just a, a reminder that we have not been consistent. Chances are not none of us. Um, and I don't, I don't know everybody, obviously, that is watching these lessons or that has ever done these lessons, but I'm gonna say that the majority of us, 99.9%, .9 has not done every lesson on the hour exactly as it's been intended. But that's not the goal here. The goal is to apply them and to, to make them practical so that we see that they do work. Once you see that they do work, you're not going to want to go back to the old way of being unconscious. Paragraph 10. In these reviews, we stress the need to let your learning not lie idly by between your longer practice periods. Attempt to give your, your daily two ideas a brief but serious review each hour. Use one on the hour and the other on the half hour later. You need not give more than just a moment to each one. Repeat it and allow your mind to rest a little time in silence and in peace. Then turn to other things, but try to keep the thoughts with you and let it serve to help you keep your peace throughout the day as well. So if you do these reviews in the middle of the day, I just set them on my phone. I have timers on my phone, my, my smartphone, my iPhone, they go off. And they're a quick reminder, if I don't have time to stop and, and spend quiet time with it, then at least it came up, I saw it. Even if it was silent on vibrate, so, or, so it's something that's not disturbing anybody else, it's, it's activating the resonance of the truth inside of me. Paragraph 11, if you are shaken, think again. These practice periods are planned to help you to help you form the habit of applying what you learn each day to everything you do. Do not repeat the thought and lay it down. Its usefulness is limitless to you. And it is meant to serve you in all ways, all times and places and whenever you need help of any kind. You practice these lessons, you put them into everyday practice, you will see how it changes your life. I know it has for me and continues to change it. Try then, sentence number six in paragraph 11, try then to take it with you in the business of the day and make it holy, worthy of God's son, acceptable to God and to yourself. Paragraph 12, each day's review, review assignments will conclude with a restatement of the thought to use each hour and the one to be applied on each half hour as well. Forget them not. This second chance with each of these ideas will bring such large advances that we come from these reviews with learning gains so great, we will continue on more solid ground with, with firmer footsteps and with stronger faith. That's what these lessons are gonna do. They're gonna ground us in truth if you use them. You know, you, you can know how to exercise and never exercise and it's worthless. You can know the truth and not apply it and it's just as worthless. Uh, so now sentence 13 in paragraph 12. Do not forget how little you have learned. Do not forget how much you can learn now. Do not forget your father's need of you. As you review these thoughts, he gave to you. This is a conclusion of the instructions for the review. Thanks and I'll see you at the first review.